What's going on guys? Today you're going to get a little bit of a sneak peek at something special that I've been working on in the background. My friends, we got some we got some fresh scallops right here. I'm about to get my motherfucking Gordon Ramsay on in this bitch. Let's fucking go to the stove. Hot pan. Hot pan. You test you, you gotta test the waters out just a little bit. So you, what you do is you take some water and you you test it, make sure it's hot. Nigga, that's hot. Let's go. Okay, so now back to the scallops. They're a beautiful item. One that you must handle with care and delicacy. So the first thing that you do is you wanna oil your pan. I got some bullshit bitch ass vegetable oil, but you probably want to use olive oil in your spare time. Whatever the case may be, whatever you may have in your pantry, you're gonna hit the pan with a little bit of the oil. So just a, a dash. That's too fucking much. Is it? I don't know. There we go, that's it. That's all motherfucker. And you're gonna roll it around just like that. Just like that. That's right. That's fucking right. You see she's wet. She's wet. You eat it, my friend. She's wet. And not only is she wet, she's hot. So now, you got a hot fucking pan just chilling there, right? The next step, nigga, do we need more oil? I think we need a little bit more oil in this bitch. A little bit more, just a dash. Nigga, that's enough. Don't talk to me. All right, that's it. That's good. Now, the next thing Daddy Ramsey said to do was you're going to take the pan. Where the fuck is the can? Oh, okay. You're going to take the pan. I can't see shit. You're going to move it around just like that. Move it around. Now, this shit is scorching hot at the moment, so if I put the scallops in there right now, they're gonna bust a nut. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So we're gonna take our scallops, right? Already pre-seasoned. Got the best seasonings in the world on this shit. Salt and pepper. And what we're gonna do now is place these bitches into the pan. I've been practicing all morning for this shit, so let's try it out. You're gonna put it in a circle. So, 12 o'clock. Fuck, nigga. 11, oh, fuck, 9 o'clock. Six o'clock, and then fucking three o'clock. There we go. So now, you hear that? That's exactly what you want to hear when you have your scallops in the pan. You see, the guys are making seared scallops just to ensure that the heat is high, the oil is little, and on top of everything else, the seasoning is there. So this is going to catch all that fucking seasoning, all that black shit that was in the plate. Look at all that black shit that was in the plate. It's gonna catch all of that shit. And it's gonna just mix it around. Well, we not mix it. But, and the thing that we wanna be careful about is that we don't boil the scallops. How much time do we put it on for? I don't know, this thing's getting a little smoky though. You can prevent forest fires. Not looking too bad though. Don't fucking touch them. If you touch them, you're gonna fuck up the sear. So, Rather than move them and risk messing up the beautiful seasoning job that you did, you're going to want to leave them shits alone. Although, I think I fucked up because I put too much oil in the pan. I don't think they're searing too well. I think they're fucking boiling, to be honest with you guys. But I'm going to pray to Allah and hope that the shit turns out okay. Um, if the sear is good, then we'll know. If it didn't sear right, then I'm going to have to refire these shits. Luckily, I have a whole fucking bag of these. So, even if I need to refire them, it's all good. I'm just hoping I get this batch of right for you guys on camera. This has to turn out okay. Yeah, I put too much oil in that shit. I put too much oil in it. I don't think they're searing, they're boiling. That's unlucky. I hope they're fucking searing. This is a painful process because it's always difficult for me to learn when I put too much oil in the pan. That's a really tough part, so I'm just hoping I didn't fuck it up too bad. It's probably not safe for me to be this close to them, but whatever. I mean, it's not like it. It's only four fucking scallops. So now, it's been long enough. We're going to want to flip them because if you don't flip them too soon, then they're going to start to feel like rubber. So we're going to take one scallop. Ooh, look at that sear, baby. Ooh, baby. Look at that sear. Very nice. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Ooh, okay, they seared. They didn't boil. They didn't boil. They seared. Them bitches seared. There we go. Come on, no, 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 get back on your back. Lay back down. Fuck. Lay back down. Don't fuck with me on camera. There we go. Now they're all fucking searing once more. You see, when you're a master chef like me, uh, you get a little frustrated when these things don't work out the way you thought they would. But thankfully, things are working out. Them bitches are searing. 
pretty nicely, if I do say so myself. You see the caramelization on the front? You see the black? You see the crust? That's exactly what it takes to make those flavors pop in your mouth. Bust like a damn premature. That's exactly what I'm talking about, man. We ain't gonna leave them in there for too long because, like I said, we don't want them to be rubber. So we're actually going to pull them out of the pan. Oh, shit, this shit is really smoking up right now. <coughs> <laughs> oh, my fucking got my eyes. I can't keep looking at this shit. Okay, so, you know what? I think they're relatively done now. Uh, maybe just a little bit more time in the pan. Maybe, like, ten more seconds. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. All right, get them bitches up. It's time. Let's remove them. Because they're going to be rubber if we don't. So, we're going to just grab them one by one. I don't care the order. And throw them back in the pan. And just like that, my friends, perfectly seared scallops. Maybe a little bit over, but I think Daddy Ramsey would be proud. Let me turn this thing off before I blow my face off. Hot ass fucking pan. Be careful with this shit. Be fucking careful. This got some hot oil in it. You can tell it's hot. Look what happens when I pour it into the sink. Yeah, that's a problem. So we're going to leave this over here. And there we go. So now that the scallops are done, right? Usually with meat, I guess you would leave it to rest. But I don't know what I'm doing with scallops, so we're going to try these anyways. Let's go. They're a little bit hot. Yeah, I should wait. You know what? I'm going to wait for them to rest a little bit. Yeah, man, that's all it takes, man. You know, you got to learn how to sear really well if you want to be a cook on the level of your boy, on the level of Daddy Ramsey. Daddy Ramsey would be proud of my black ass, man. I actually made me some nice scallops in here. I've been practicing this all morning, like I told you guys. I've been trying to get the technique down packed. So that way, when it comes down to a situation where I need to cook for a household, I can make something exquisite. Seared scallops are going to be on my repertoire. And it's going to look like such a sexual menu item on top of it. You pair that up with some nice, freshly made risotto. Mmm. Nigga. Yo, I learned something from Hell's Kitchen, all right? I learned something from Hell's Kitchen. Let's go. I ate at Hell's Kitchen. I know I know. I have a standard now. Now that I had Daddy Ramsey's food on my tongue, I know the standard. Our fucking scallops are done resting. Let's try one of these things out. We're going to take this sexual beauty over here. It's rubber. I overcooked it, but oh well. No, I didn't. No, I fucking didn't. I wish you were in my kitchen right now. That's it. I'm moving to fucking England. 